Hello everyone, uh, this is going to be uh, part four of uh, the Megalomania uh, project, I guess, on uh, uh, Transport Fever 2. Uh, as you can see, we've got some trains running here uh, and some uh, horse carts. Uh, this is basically where we left the, uh, the thing uh, last time. And oh look, autosave is happening. Um, so I think, maybe, possibly, I might have maybe fixed the uh, recording settings. Um, maybe. Uh, I guess uh, time will tell. Uh, I'll know when I get to editing this one. So, yeah. Uh, so if I got it right, there won't be any black bars on this one. Um uh, Right, uh, so uh, we can see here this, uh, we have rather a lot of uh, combats going to McAllen. Uh, yeah, let's zoom out a bit, you know, get a little bit less noise going on here. Um, right, uh, and we got one train here. With a capacity of 35 tooling back and forth, with 115 waiting, I definitely need more capacity on that line. So I could dual track this uh, up here. I could. Um, What's this look like here? Well, I got a mess here. Yeah, I could dual track it around here. I'd have to rejigger all of this. Uh, and that would allow me to run an extra train on here. I think, however, I can... Let's get this train back. Um, I think I can possibly add a couple more, uh, uh, a couple more, um, uh, who's a what's it's on here. Um, right, uh, who's a what's, uh, wagons, that's what they are, wagons. Uh, right, so if we bring this up. Uh, what are these? Come on, what are they? Flat car with stakes. Flat car with stakes. Four. Seven. That's the one, I think. So if I add... If I add three more, um, that might uh, that might be enough. And yes, it brings the rating down to poor, but uh, you know, it doesn't have to be hugely fast. It's not going to be hugely fast, in fact. Uh, and even the passenger line is not hugely fast, so. If I put that on there, well, that gives me an extra 21 capacity. I can't afford it. So what if I go over here? Oro. Right. Now I can afford it. Okay, now, uh, so we've got, this is uh, keeping up by the look of it. This is not, but I can't really afford to do anything about that, so I'll just leave well enough alone there. Now, what did I say last time I was going to do? Uh, I was looking at... Um, Tools, was it? For Long Beach? Tools, yes. 
where was uh, where did I find the uh, tools thing? Okay, so I had a forest here. Planks here. Oh, right. The uh, tools factory is over here. And that takes planks. So forest. Tools. Factory. Okay. Now, how, how am I going to do this? Uh, this. Two wood to one planks. Uh, right. So... I could do this with trains. I could. Could do it with trains. Uh, that's expensive, though. Uh, I could also do it with trucks, which seems to be working for a fairly equivalent distance here. So, you know what? Let me think. Trains are cooler, though. Uh, you have to admit trains are definitely cooler um, but yeah I could do it with uh, with more horse carts um, yeah that uh, that would give me more um, Well, no, I don't think that is the way to go. How does this do? That's full, and it's just barely chuffing along at 15k. Yeah. Oh, what? 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 Wait, wait, wait. This is getting distracted. Um, you know what? I think. Rather, I do need to uh, double up this uh, passenger line here. Um, I think I do. No, 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 no. Um, yeah, I rather think I do. Which means I need to... Well, I've got it dual tracked here. I need to bring the dual tracking up a little bit further, so that the uh, waiting, so that the passenger train doesn't wait and block the freight train. Um, right. Okay. Yes. This is what I'm going to do. Okay. No. I want this. Uh, so I'm going to bring a track up to here and join it there and oh what do you know I think that went straight yay okay now we'll put a one-way signal here and this one needs to turn to one way now that didn't cause any alarming things there okay so that should be all I need to do to make that work now can I duplicate this not enough money. wouldn't it be neat if it would say how much money you need um, right uh, we'll just borrow some and then bring this back up and duplicate it. Yes, there we go. Uh, as I'm pretty sure I need that second passenger train tooling back and forth here. Now, uh, we got the train coming out here. Waiting for free path. What? Why? 
Oh. Oh! Okay. What I should also do here... Is... No. I keep clicking the wrong stuff. We'll put a uh, signal here. Does that allow it to move? No. I think I need one here. Well, that gets it moving at least. So it was, ah, it was waiting on that. Okay, how many have we left behind here? Seven. Why do I keep doing that? Okay, so seven is there. I might be able to cut these trains back to uh, one or two fewer uh, um, wagons. How many are waiting here? 71. You know, maybe not. Not with McAllen having that large a uh, passenger uh, collection. Because uh, I think it'll just grow. Um, out of curiosity, what's this doing? Well, we spend a boatload of money. So, yeah, that would, we would be losing money there. But our road and rail vehicles are still coming out on top. So, there's that. Okay, let's just stick that up in the corner. And, uh, right. Oh, we can, ooh, we can shrink it. Cute. Okay. Uh, right, we've got this going on here. Who wins? Okay, that clears, that one goes. Then, okay, yep, everybody's moving. Good. Okay. Well, now the train's losing money, but that's probably because we've got another train on there that hasn't actually picked up any passengers yet. Um, right. You know what? I'm just going to speed this up a bit just to see how many are here now 23 yeah we definitely needed a second train uh, right and we've got a train arriving over here which will drop off some passengers and the train has still lost money trains have still lost money um, but we got the freight train coming along here and then this guy has how many he's got 31 so I think that's enough uh, after a, a path back and forth that should be enough to uh, uh, to even everything out okay okay now we're we're back on the uh, the plus side on the trains Uh, right, uh, so we have here trains tooling back and forth. I really should do dual track this. I really, really should. Just for simplicity in the long run. Because uh, I think I've got enough money coming in that I can do that. Uh, picked up a full load going back. Right, yep. Um, okay. I think this is working. 
And I think I need another train here. Wow. Okay. What I was going to do is going to wait. I need to... I need to accumulate some cash is what I need to do because I've maxed out the loan. So what what are you going to do here? Um, well, well, I suppose that's that train is full, right? Yes. Um, hmm. Well, on the upside, we're up three hundred K on the on the quarter running the clock at quarter speed here uh, just because I find that the regular progression of game time is a little bit fast uh, and I just prefer that uh, there's a little bit more time to uh, I guess enjoy dealing with this level of stuff uh, right so I think this is still keeping up. This definitely isn't. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, I think the passengers are mostly uh, okay here. I think I need another couple of uh, wagons on uh, on the on these crosstown ones. Uh, so we've got ten. Uh, well. I'll add two more on that one. Or did I get three more? I got three more. Yeah, okay. Three more is good. And over here, I don't have a big issue with uh, passengers backing up, so... Okay. At Long Beach is growing with a really uh, regular grid here, uh, which is kind of different. It probably has to do with the flat land, although it has perturbed it here. Uh, okay. Things are a little less clear over here for layout, but, you know, it's kind of a little bit more interesting now. Uh, well, now it's 500k down on the uh, train. Why? And you deliver, get 100. What? Was that 500 or 50? Yeah, I'm not going to wind back the video and find out. Um, okay, so uh, that's a freight train coming in for delivery there, I believe. Yep. And that gets us 450k. Okay, so that train is going to be uh, pretty good overall. Um, right. So, that's... Uh, Let's repay some loan. 
that's getting us uh, at the very least uh, breaking even but I think a second train on there maybe even with fewer wagons might give us a little more even actually no I want to take a look at these Okay, the trains are running uh, emptier. Right, okay, so I can take a, a wagon off of each one, I think. So we'll edit them. And... Modify. Uh, okay, that edit thing, you know, it's kind of not realistic, but it does um, uh, it does work, um, uh, and it's a lot more convenient than having to send it to a uh, depot or completely uh, edit the uh, like completely replace the uh, train. Uh, before uh, uh, you know before you can just change the consist a little bit uh, so uh, now uh, now we're running at 60 out of 84 uh, all the lines are showing a uh, a profit uh, that's actually pretty good uh, that's unusual because the way I play I usually end up with all of the local bus lines losing money and I think that's just because I overbuild them because I don't want to go back and look at them again and also that's a habit I think I, I brought over from uh, Transport Fever 1 where that really mattered because frequency mattered so much more than, uh, than it does, uh, does here uh, it matters, but it matters a lot less. Um, right. So overall, I think that's doing okay. Okay. So by repaying the loan, I'm saving a few a few k every every period, uh, and that few k. Uh, at this stage of the game is, uh, you know, it's not nothing, uh, although it, it doesn't amount to much later on in the game. Um, it does, uh, it does affect things. So this one is only... Okay, these, they're not moving enough goods, that's why. Uh, so, yeah, I really do need to get another train on this, this route. Now, to do that without blocking the passenger train, I need to bring it off here. This is in the way. Um, right, yeah, I got time to, uh, to mess with that here. Um, well, I gotta have positive cash to mess with it. Okay, now this, oh, naturally, right, I said that was in the way. This only goes to the depot, so I can definitely clobber that. Um, yeah. Uh, no. Railroad. Okay. Now this, I can bring around here. Like so. And that won't need double slipping anymore when I connect this. But I'm going to take this out to... Here.
and then connect it like so. That'll need a double slip. And this signal is not right anymore, nor is this signal. Okay. Uh, now I can put a one-way signal here. And I guess about here, another pair of them. And then one here. Right. Okay, that gives me... Uh, that should give me what I need to dual track that. Okay. Now... I will I can I okay I can do that uh, okay that whoop uh, that one needs to be two-way and to be properly fair that signal should be there not there okay that gives me a proper uh, bit of track there I believe oh right I need one more signal for that to be prop eh proper and that will be here. Okay. Right. Now I'm not worried about where these uh, merge in because they're only used when the um, when a train is being launched. Um, now I believe It's carrying 56 con mats. I believe two trains of the same size there will probably do it. So, if I manage the train, how much is that going to cost? Well, if I do that and uh, try duplicating it, not enough. There we go. Uh, right. Well, of course it's going to the wrong station. I really wish they'd fix that. Oh well, that means it's not going to make as much money uh, that time through. Uh, right. Okay, so now I've got four trains running on that bit of track. Um, I might need another truck on this, uh, this line here. I might. Um, right. Okay, where is this guy? Ah, uh, apologies if you can hear noise in the background. Um, I do, in fact, uh, need to heat my place so the the furnace, you know, makes its noise. Oh, oh no, I double slipped that. So that wasn't why. So now he's waiting for this one to clear, but he's not blocking the passengers. Okay, so this is good. Um, I think I probably should dual track everything. Uh, I think I have enough cash coming in to support it now. Um, so there, it's, this should get the trains 
Well, that's roughly... Well, it's just past halfway, so that should keep the trains basically uh, balanced. So, uh, right. Okay. How are we doing on lines? Um, yeah. Uh, it's not surprising that um, the line where we just flung a train on that isn't actually carrying anything yet is... Uh, uh, not making money. So this is going to pick up uh, half of what's there. Uh, and I probably need to duplicate this train as well. Um, yeah. That's... Uh, means I'm gonna have to dual track pretty much everything uh, r right away here I think um, yeah okay that's uh, that's going. Uh, so if I can keep the uh, train profits up over uh, 500k at the very least, I'll have plenty of, of cash to do things. Uh, now this is, the, the reason I like starting in 1850, even though it's boring like this early on, is that uh, it gives a, uh, pretty, uh, a pretty good uh, bed-in time where uh, you can uh, build up uh, a core of uh, profitable uh, operations that allow you to uh, to uh, take advantage of the uh, better options as they come available more easily. Uh, so basically, you get the boring getting out of the initial uh, investment debt uh, stages. Uh, you get that sorted out when everything else is also uh, uh, difficult because it takes forever for anything to get anywhere. I'm thinking one more signal in there wouldn't go amiss. Uh, one more signal, pair of signals in here. Say here. Uh, might uh, unblock these junctions just a little bit. Uh, and maybe here and uh, here. That'll allow the trains to run denser uh, and that might help uh, throughput times. Uh, but well, we got a million a million on the trains? Wow. Uh, okay, I think we're we're set now. Uh, definitely time to dual track everything. Uh, but I'm going to uh, I'm going to actually leave this part here. Uh, so I'm going to back this down to a normal uh, speed. Now, what have we got here? Uh, who are you? Who are you? Uh, you are a passenger train. Uh, you are a... Okay, I'm just going to bring this up here. And, uh, you know, I guess uh, this part probably hasn't been all that terribly interesting, really, when you get down to it. But, uh, realistically, uh, this is what you need to do in the early game. And as you can see, uh, I've got a uh, profitable operation going uh, right off. And isn't this great? We've got an oncoming train on our branch and a train on the on the main branch ahead. Uh, and that um, just looked awful, uh, where the uh, track comes in from the uh, depot there. 
Uh, yeah, that just looks awful. I'm going to have to relay some of this stuff to make sure it's level. Uh, but isn't that great? Look, there's another train. Like, this is proper busy. Uh, yeah. Uh, so this is, ex you know, if you want to play the game as a virtual train set, this is how you do it. Uh, you get a whole bunch of trains going. Uh, well, duh, of course. You know, if you want to play it like a train set, you put the trains. But anyway, uh, that's all for this time. Uh, next time, I'll finish dual tracking this mess and uh, fixing up the bit around the, uh, the train depot there. And then possibly get uh, tools going to Long Beach. Uh, but as it stands, that's it for now. Uh, see you back next time.